Welcome to this channel. This is a complete tutorial here you will get learn how to set up Visual Studio Code for Java Spring Boot application and how to create and run Spring Boot application on Visual Studio Code in Windows 11 by following its official documentation. If you are new to this channel, subscribe this channel to get more tutorials. Let's get started. At first, ensure that you have installed Java Development Kit JDK. I already have installed JDK and set Java Home Path Environment variable. You will find a link in video description how to install JDK and set Java home path environment variable. Okay. After installing JDK and setting up Java home path environment, install Visual Studio Code and open Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now install extension pack for Java extension. extension pack for java i already have installed this extension it contains another six extension okay and also install spring boot extension pack spring boot extension pack okay it contains another three extension okay okay and also ensure that you have installed apache maven on your system you will find a link in video description how to installed apache maven in windows 11 okay now i am going to create a spring boot application go to view and then open common palette now type spring initializer and then click on spring initializer clone create a maven project okay now specify spring boot version now specify project language there are available three language you can select java kotlin or gravy i am going to select java okay now input group id for your project hit enter now input artifact id for your project ok hit enter now specify packaging type select or now specify java version select java version that you have installed on your system okay now search for dependencies select spring boot dev tools and then lombok developer tools and then select spring web okay and also select this dependency okay now hit enter now select a destination folder where you want to generate the spring boot application project okay now click on generate into this folder 
the project successfully generated open in visual studio code okay and this will take a while for loading on spring boot dashboard now expand source folder then main ok now I am going to create a web controller by following its official documentations example ok I am going to create a controller inside this package ok hello controller dot java ok now import get mapping ok and also add annotation controller and import controller ok and also import request parameter plus ok now create an HTML file inside templates folder name it greetings.html ok and copy this to greetings.html save this file ok and also create a home page inside static under resource ok index dot html first here ok ok import model now save this file and run this application ok access this application from a web browser click here to open in browser ok if you get an error white label error then update this application class ok with component scan and then add badge packages and here enter the project base package because the root class of this application should know the packages and the classes path where it should refer in order to access the controller ok save this file and restart the server reload and see ok If you like this video, like, comment and share. 
Thank you so much for watching this video.